Hi guys, it's Teresa Judice back again today. So excited to be here. I'm making you guys one of my secret recipes. I swear to God, this is like the best recipe ever. I remember um, growing up eating this recipe you know, with my family. It's one of our staple, most amazing, delicious dish. It's called Taya Deli. I call it green and white, like spinach and white pasta with um, peas and ham. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in the Sunday sauce. Oh my gosh, stop! Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> oh so it's Thai deli with peas and ham. Absolutely delicious. And right here, I just, today I ended up just getting regular Thai deli. But sometimes, if you want the dish to look you know, extra colorful and it looks really beautiful when you have company. Sometimes I get the spinach Thai deli. So it looks beautiful because it matches with the peas. So, you know, sometimes it's good to make your dish look very fashion. Okay, so first um, I have the pasta, the water boiling for the pasta right here. So first of all, I'm gonna dice up the ham. So when you go buy your ham, sometimes in the supermarket they already have it like this, you could buy a big piece the way it is like this, or you could have, um, when you go get your cold cuts, tell them to cut it like a, I usually get like three slices of this, like a half an inch thick, or however thick you want it to be. So you get your ham, and then you start, you cut it up in strips, just like this. And then I, I like to cut the, the edge off. And then you just dice them. Yeah, like if you buy it in the cold cut section, there's no skin on it. If you want, you could also use prosciutto instead of ham. Or you know what? I would even say you could even use turkey. Yeah, if you don't want to use ham. Yeah, I've never done it with turkey. Because I mean, this is just a staple recipe that um, I absolutely love and like could eat this all the time and my kids love it every time I make it it's like you know it's definitely my kids favorite so the hams are all diced up here so I'm gonna add olive oil to the pan okay now the water's boiling so I'm gonna add the Thai deli so it could cook while we're making the peas and ham the reason why I'm just stirring the pasta is because they're in balls right here and you want them to come apart so I added the olive oil to the pan right here. So now I'm gonna saute the onions. All right, I'm gonna chop up some garlic right here. Okay, I'm gonna add that with the onion. I'm sauteing the onion and the garlic together right here. That smells so delicious. I love the way onion and garlic smells. As it's sauteing, this I want to make sure they spread apart. That's why I keep doing this as they're cooking. Because you don't want them to stick together. Then I'm gonna add the ham right here. With the onion and the garlic. I'm gonna add the butter, right here, butter. Add a few cloves of butter. Cause this makes the sauce also for the Thai deli. Okay, that, that's the cheese afterwards. And now we could even add, you know, I'm gonna add these, this other ham also. It's, it's good to have you could also put as much ham as you want. I mean, I usually put a lot of ham because I'm cooking for seven people. You could always make more peas and ham and keep it in in, fr in refrigerator and then make pasta like the next day if you don't want to eat it all the same day. So now I'm going to add the peas. Most of my recipes, I usually cook them like in the afternoon and then we eat them like you know around dinner time. The longer you let them sit, the more flavor they have.
else? I add Pecorino Romano cheese to make it a little bit more thicker. The recipe is in my Skinny Italian book, page 106. Okay, so I'm gonna try the pasta to see if it's cooked. Yeah, I like, I like my pasta al dente. And if anybody doesn't know what al dente means, that means like it's not super soft, it has a little bite to it. So the translation from Italian, it's to the tooth. So I, I mean, I'll put it in my language, I don't like mushy pasta, definitely no mushy pasta. So I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm hungry. Oh my God, this is so good, this is one of my favorites. Oh my God, this is so good. My first time trying a recipe on my cooking channel. It's really good. Sometimes I watch cooking shows and I see people eating their food and then I'm like, then they're eating and they're talking. I'm like, I don't know if I like to really see that. But for this recipe, there's no holding back. It really is one of my favorite recipes. Uh -huh. So good. Okay, this is good. Let me get my pot holders. Yeah, strainer's here. I have my strainer. I, yeah, my mom always told me to put the cold water so the pipe won't burst. Like that, like this. You know what, it's good to keep a little water in there. Okay, so I grabbed the bowl right here. Let me get my pot holders. And then here's the pasta, yummy. All right, so I, I left a little bit of um, pasta water in here so the pasta doesn't get so sticky. And then here's the peas and ham, right here, just like this. The star of the show is the peas and ham. Oh my God, this looks so good. And guys, it's so delicious. I'm savoring at the mouth. It's right here, here it is. And then of course, add more cheese. There's never enough cheese for this dish, really. Voila. And then make it a little pretty with a little parsley. And here it is. You guys are gonna love, love, love it. Thank you so much for watching. I know you guys are gonna love it. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know when you make it. And see you guys next time. Ciao. Mwah.